Hey, everybody, and welcome back to our new interview series from TELUS Alliance. My name is Justin Gelski, and today we are joined by Curtis Belcher, who is the head of Harvest Ministries, and that runs the KFM network in Northern Ontario. Hey, Curtis, thank you for joining us today. Hey, so great to be with you. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Um, to get us started off today, uh, why don't you tell us you know, a little bit about yourself, your role at Harvest Ministries, and uh, your work there for the KFM network. Well, uh, about 25 years ago, we applied for a license to operate a Christian radio station here in Northern Ontario. We were actually the sixth uh, license application to go through our government process, and we were awarded that license uh, back in 1997, and we began a journey that we never dreamed would take us to where we are today. We thought one little station here in the North would be great. Uh, but now we see ourselves operating a series of 13 radio stations, pretty soon 14, actually. And it's been an incredible journey. So recently, uh, you guys have decided to implement our new TELUS Alliance Axia IQS. And for those who don't already know, uh, IQS is TELUS Alliance's new software mixing console, which is controlled by a full HTML5 interface. Um, so people can mix from virtually anywhere. Um, it could be on your laptop, your phone, desktop, whatever you want. Um, so could you just tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, the implementation and, and what, what made you guys decide uh, to look for a solution like that? Well, that's actually a very long story. For years now, we have been looking for a way to control some of the functions back at the studio when we're going live on location. I mean, it's always been uh, a prerequisite to have somebody in the studio controlling the volumes and, and the various parameters of doing a live on location in the many places we go to. And it, I, it seemed as an awkward uh, exercise to always have to have somebody there. So we began our search looking for some way where we can have some automation and remote automation of a remote control of the mixer back in the studio. Now, there are a lot of options when it comes to remote control mixers. We were looking for something that would give us the flexibility that we need. So because we're a network now to, to operate the home base from any one of our four satellite stations or anywhere we go live on location. And so the search began to find something and when these so-called virtual boxes like the IQS started coming out, we began our research very diligently and we researched uh, three different options that were presented to us. At the end of the day, the Axia IQS came out head and shoulders above the others. In terms of the flexibility, it afforded us as an individual station and as a network as well. So we purchased that IQS and uh, went through all the wonderful process of getting it installed, installed up and running. And I tell you, we are just thrilled with that IQS. Love to hear that. Um, as far as, you know, virtual operations go uh, with your studios, you know, uh, was this one of the, the first uh, sort of um, virtual ventures for you guys, or do you, have you guys already started the, the virtualization process before this? Well, we've gained uh, control over our on-air computers. So we're able to log in uh, with a cell phone, with a laptop from virtually anywhere in the world and uh, play a song that we'd really like to hear. That's always a nice thing. <laughs> we don't do that too often because the program director will kind of slap our hands, but it's <laughs> nice to have that uh, opportunity to log in and, and do that from a virtual point of view, uh, to log into any of our stations for that matter, and control the on-air computer. But it's that mixer, that console, that we really wanted to have control over for a whole lot of different reasons, as I mentioned. And uh, that's where the IQS came into play. So with now having the opportunity uh, to control our on-air system plus our entire mixer and network for that matter, all from a virtual point of view, it's fantastic. 
Awesome. So I take it the, uh, the experience overall has been, been a, a good one so far, I hear. I got to admit, I'm not the IT guy. I'm a general manager, but I kind of like to dabble and make sure I know a little bit about what's going on. Sure. I thought when we purchased the IQS, there would be this humongous learning curve. Uh, so that's what we anticipated. We were amazed at the simplicity of not only installing the system, but getting it up and running. I'll be honest, it was almost plug and play. So uh, again, just the simplicity of the, the whole installation system, getting it up and running. We actually implemented the whole system about a month ahead of schedule because we had given ourselves a lot of time to go through that, what is quite often a big learning curve, which was actually kind of a foothill. It was easy to get up and it was nice to be on top at a very fast pace. So it was a great experience. I love, love to hear that as well. Um, you know, it's one of the things we always strive for is, you know, making the experience uh, as smooth and easy as possible. And uh, you want something that you don't have to take a ton of time to, to learn or understand. Um, so I'd love to hear that, that it, it went that smoothly for you and ahead of schedule, which is something you, <laughs> that's a term you rarely hear going ahead of schedule. Um, so I guess now that you've had some time uh, to deal with it, um, are there any, any certain features that are popping out to you that, that, you, that you've particularly loved so far? The Actually, it's the simplicity of the whole system that I love the most. I mean, we go from a great big, huge console, and my, my arms can reach wider than this screen permits, but it's a big console. It was nice, but it was really big. The wiring that went into our old, and we had a digital console, a very nice one, had it for about 10 years. And, but the wiring, which I did personally, involved those bell uh, Bix uh, blocks of uh, 25 pairs of wires in each one. We had six of them. So imagine how many wires I had to prepare to get into the, the console and to get everything wired properly. Oh, yeah. Along comes IQS and these things called X nodes. Um, for those that are familiar with Telos, you know what they are. For those that aren't, there's these, they're these really cute little boxes that uh, come with RJ45 cables, and that's your entire wiring. So now, instead of having about 180 wires go up into our main studio, I have one Cat8 cable, one cable that goes to the studio, and what that does, it goes to a touch screen. That's the entire console now is just a touch screen, and how easy that makes life for all of our on-air staff, for our production staff, and for those that want to kind of take the whole thing on the road. It all folds up into a laptop and away you go. So it, it's an amazing system. And to go, like I say, from 180 wires down to one cable, thank you very much. So is this decision to, to implement XCIQS, you know, does this have any further implications for you guys for any further virtualization in the future? Do you guys have any, any next steps you're looking to take or just taking it one step at a time here? We are planning right now to have this system available in all of our stations. We have four main hubs out of the 13 stations and to be able to consolidate all the mixers that we have at, in all of our studios and have them operate out of the IQS system. That's our goal right now, uh, to be able to really bring now four consoles down to a one RU unit and to be able to control the whole network through that. Well, that's, that's an awesome story. Thank you so much for, for taking the time to visit with us today. It's great to hear that it's working well for you. Well, again, thank you for the opportunity and please keep up the good work. I can't wait to see what you come up with next. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.